You're listening to The Real Well Show with Kathy Fetke, the real estate investor's resource. Hey, all you real estate addicts out there, I've got a new market I'm excited to tell you about. I'm Kathy Fetke. Welcome to The Real Well Show. As you know, we're always on a mission to find the next up and coming city. Where are the jobs going? Where can you still get cash flow and appreciation in today's insane environment? And our team does a lot of due diligence to find those areas. We're very happy to say that we have a new market that Leah College actually lives in, in, uh, in Texas, in San Antonio, Texas. Uh, this is maybe not as well known as Dallas, Houston, Austin, but San Antonio is a growing market. And we're excited to now be offering this to our Real Wealth members. And even more exciting is that our team in San Antonio has worked out a deal with their local bank to give uh, under 5% interest rates to investors, which is really unheard of. They pay a lot for that. They pay out of pocket, out of their profit, uh, but it makes the numbers work. It work really well. Find incredible cash flow on brand new duplexes and fourplexes in this growing market. So my guest today is our newest property team at Real Wealth. I'm excited to share with you. So welcome, welcome. So happy to have you here on The Real Wealth Show. Well, thank you. I'm excited to be here. As you know, at Real Wealth, we're always looking for growing markets where there's still cash flow and opportunity and San Antonio fits that all the way. I'm sure you're aware, but uh, San Antonio was listed as the fastest growing city between 2020 and 2022. Um, And and as far as major US cities, and that would be uh, anywhere with over a million residents. So why? Why are so many people moving to San Antonio? You know, I think San Antonio, it's a great city. Of course, it's in Texas, which is, you know, all of Texas right now is is booming. Um, But San Antonio, you know, as, as a city as a whole is doing an exceptional job in bringing in businesses um, offering incentives, you know, the businesses, um, you know, our, our housing is, is inexpensive. We have, of course, no state income tax. Um, weather is, you know, relatively nice. Summers are a little hot, but, uh, you know, everything just really works for, for companies to bring, you know, their employees to Texas and, and to San Antonio. Well, Austin, Dallas, Houston usually make the headlines, but San Antonio, is sort of the, I don't know, I want to say sleeper city. I've known that it's been growing for years because yeah. that whole area between Austin and San Antonio is growing. Is that, is that right. correct? Oh, yeah, it's, it's booming. You know, San Antonio has always been kind of, you know, we're the seventh largest city in the United States. Most people do not realize that because it's, it's quiet. You know, it's a quiet city. It doesn't have the, you know, all the press that Austin gets. Um, but San Antonio is just a very, you know, hardworking, great city, steady appreciation. You know, you're going to have steady growth year in and year out. And it's just a, a fabulous market. I don't know. I, I, I would assume people know, but a lot of people maybe still don't that downtown San Antonio is so cool. The oh, yeah. Riverwalk, it's one of my favorite places to go in the U.S., the Riverwalk. It, yeah, it's definitely. like this river underneath the city. What? How yeah. did, how did that happen? <laughs> they they actually they they created it. I mean, it's so uh, there's a you know there there's a river of course there, but they created that area. I I don't really know when to be honest, but to probably I think it was like in the seventies, something like that. They they actually created that as a tourist attraction. And of course, it's it's right down by the Alamo and by the missions, which has a ton of history for San Antonio and Texas, you know, and the United States really as you know as far as Texas becoming. Uh, independent, you know, from Mexico. So, um, you know, with that history, they they wanted to create that tourist attraction and brought the the river walk there. And, you know, some people say it's a sacred site. Um, It feels that way to me. I mean, it's just, it's just really cool. If you want a romantic place to go, you might not have considered the river walk in San Antonio, but you should. It's so cool. All right. So let's talk numbers because it's hard to make things cash flow anywhere, especially in a fast growing market. So uh, what are we looking at? And I know that you found ways to make it work even against all odds. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, you know, we, we, we have the duplexes and fourplexes, of course. Um, What we do special is really we're doing a interest rate buy down. It's not a traditional 
buy down like you might have heard of, um, but we're doing like a capital market trade for an interest rate. So we're able to offer our buyers um, 4.75%. Actually, for the month of December, we're doing a 4.25% rate. Whoa. So yeah, it's <laughs> crazy. And uh, it's really driving sales and, and it really helps the cash flow tremendously. As, as you can imagine, it, it's an it's incredible tool for us to be able to give the investors that cash flow that they want, you know, month in and month out. Yeah, we had a um, our 20th anniversary event and you were there along with, um, you know, nine other of our teams and uh, you were the, the most popular guy in town that day yeah, for we, this reason. Yeah. <laughs> it was a great, it was a great, uh, great weekend. We loved being there with y'all and it was just so, so professionally done and all the investors we met were fantastic. And a lot of them have been down, to be honest. We, we've uh, had a lot of people come down from that convention and have already purchased with us. And, and it's, it's because that interest rate really um, is what's driving our sales. Was it that or was it that you brought your beautiful wife? It was one or the other. They that might have been the case. That, that probably helped as well. So definitely. <laughs> Either way, uh, I saw a line at your booth of people that were flocking to, you know, to get into a market in that. I know it costs you money to buy down that rate. And, yes, uh, you know, we appreciate that because it makes a huge difference. It's right. it's. It's most people think they would have to kiss that kind of rate goodbye forever, especially yeah. for an investment property. But, you know, you shell out the dough right. cutting out of your own profit to make it make the numbers work. You know, you have to you're not going to sell anything if, if, if it's negative cash flow. Right. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I've been doing this for a long time, building investment properties you know, since early 2000s. And and I know really what investors want. You know, they want that cash flow. They want, you know, market that's going to appreciate and they want to you know build equity. And so. By us providing that interest rate, we help with the cash flow. And then being in San Antonio, of course, um, helps with the appreciation and, and um, ultimately, you know, increasing their equity in the project. And you were so kind to share your secret weapon with our other teams. And so we've got our, our Jacksonville team also using that that same method in, yes, in um, Indianapolis. And that's, that's one thing I love about the teams that we work with at Real Wealth is you're all willing to help each other, even though technically you're competitors. So thank right. you. No, you know, definitely. You're welcome. So let's talk about um, how quickly things rent. If if you have this many investors flocking to your your projects, there's always that concern. Oh, my gosh, is there going to be a flood of rentals on the market? And, you know, right. we're going to have vacancies. So what's what's the rental demand? A rental demand is great in San Antonio. So we have our own rental you know, property management company kind of in-house, I guess you would. So that really helps because we're able to really, you know, gauge the market. Um, and when we purchase our properties, we buy our land to do our developments. We always really look at what areas are, you know, going to have high rent demand and we build on those areas. So we're picking markets initially that's going to have that rental demand that we want. And then we do a great job with the property management company driving those, you know, traffic to the, to the apartments and to the rentals and, and renting those units out. Yeah. Okay. And, and so what, who are the major employers in the area uh, or new employers? Yeah. Yeah. So San Antonio is interesting. A lot of people do not realize this, but we're actually known as military city U USA. Um, so we have a, I did know that I did. did know that great. Yeah. I've got military in my family. So yes. oh, awesome. Awesome. So yeah, we, we love the military. We love the military as our tenant of specially. Um, so it's, it's, it's great being in San Antonio for that reason, but military, we have multiple, you know, basis that really provides, it's what I tell people, that provides San Antonio that consistency, you know, if you would. It, it really gives us that base of, of always having that employment and people coming in and out um, being... Is it mainly trainees or is it uh, all levels? Because I, I know you have to go to hardcore boot camp there. Yeah, all levels. So Air Force is uh, Lackland Air Force Base. So that's basic training is there, but we have Fort Sam Houston and we have Randolph Air Force Base. So it's kind of all levels of military personnel coming into San Antonio, which is great. Um, USAA is another huge employer that's tied to the military for you know insurance and banking purposes. Um, HEB, which is our grocery store of kind of all of Texas, um, is, is here in San Antonio. Um, so that's another large employer. Uh, we have a big medical field in San Antonio. And also um, something I didn't realize until just recently, we're actually... We have the number two cybersecurity, I guess, uh, 
jobs in in the United States is is located here in San Antonio. I wasn't aware of that until just recently. Wow. And, um, you know, a lot of people know one of our, you know, investment counselors, Leah College, she's also, um, you know, one of our directors and she lives in San Antonio and her husband is in the military and makes sense that she's there. Uh, So obviously she put you through the ringer because she she could go walk through all properties and see where things are. Yes, Uh, ma'am. And she's benefited tremendously by by being an owner in, in San Antonio as well. The market has just taken off. Uh, so what are some of the things that um, that you showed her and our and our other team members when they came to visit? I know we've had yeah, so, there. So we, we, of course, have duplex developments um, and we have uh, right now we have 15 different developments in some phase, whether we're building actively, um, whether it's land we just purchased or land that's in engineering or development. So um, whenever we have people come in, we show them our duplex developments, um, which are located right now on the northeast side of San Antonio close to Fort Sam Houston and Randolph Air Force Base um, off of Interstate 35, which, you know, connects you to Austin. Um, So that's a great area. And then we have a fantastic fourplex development in a really fast growing part of San Antonio, which is the the kind of far west side of San Antonio, uh, close to Lackland Air Force Base and also Port San Antonio, which is um, basically 85 different companies are headquartered at Port San Antonio, um, Boeing being one of them. And multiple other companies. So that's a big driver of potential tenants for us for that fourplex development. That's great. And uh, how, how much are the fourplexes? Uh, fourplexes are 1.1 million. Um, that's going to cash flow right at 1500 a month positive. Um, that's at that four, or actually 4.75 rate. So it's gonna be a little better even at the 4.25 rate right now. And then our duplexes are 515,000. Those will cash flow 500 to 600 a month. Wow. Fantastic. Right. And according to PWC's 45th edition of Emerging Trends in Real Estate, San Antonio was listed as one of the top 10 real estate markets to, um, you know, to pay attention to in 2024. Yes, yeah. Yes, so lots of good things happening there. Very yeah, exciting. We, we're excited to be here. You know, excited we're in San Antonio and, and have been here a long time. So we know the market and, and, uh, really strive to, you know, take care of our investors. And uh, one of the things that we really recommend at Real Wealth is for people to go out and see for yourself. Don't, don't believe me, you know, don't don't take my word for it. Go see. We really strongly encourage you to go. And uh, we have set up a tour so that people can go and meet other investors and hear the comments and walk to the properties and so forth. Uh, Leah will be leading that because it's just down the street. Right. Uh, So do you have the dates for that? And yeah, yeah, January 19th and 20th. So they're um, basically the 19th of Friday. So we have people coming in that day or, or come in early if you want and, and really get to see San Antonio. But we're going to have a happy hour on the 19th. And then the 20th, we'll do a property tour, show, all, you know, basically look at all the properties, um, probably grab some Texas barbecue and, uh, you know, have a great time with with all the investors that come in. Oh, man. You're making me hungry. I, <laughs> I, I think I've told people before. I, I've been, I've done so many real estate tours, jumping around, seeing properties. And there was one time when I, I bounced from Dallas to, um, I think San Antonio, and then, uh, oh my gosh, I guess Austin. Yeah, and I, yeah. I wanted to compare all the barbecue and all, <laughs> all oh, the yeah. areas. You can't go wrong they anywhere all in Texas. Yeah, yeah, they really. all win. Yeah, it's great everywhere. And it's all, all a little different. They all have their own flair, you know? Um, so it's, it's, it's great. Um, okay. And so people, you, you can go to realwealth.com to uh, find out about that. If you're a member, you've probably already heard you can get on our newsletter list just by joining. It's free again at realwealth.com or just go to realwealthshow.com as well. Okay. Well, tell me a little bit about how you got started in real estate and, uh, you know, why, why you do what you do. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I've been in real estate since uh, 1994. I guess that's aging myself a little bit. So I graduated Texas A&M University, 1994, moved to San Antonio, and I got in uh, basically buying and flipping houses and uh, was doing, had a great business flipping you know, over 100 homes a year. And uh, then 2000, I guess you know, the market started changing a little bit with the uh, with home flips at that time in San Antonio, prices started going up because a lot of people were getting into the market. 
So we started looking at uh, building really single family infill lots. That's kind of what we started with. And uh, by chance, um, had a, a group from California actually came in and were interested in buying um, 40 of our last houses in a neighborhood we were doing in, in El Paso, actually, and um, sold them the 40 houses. And talking with them, they kind of said, hey, we want duplexes and fourplexes in San Antonio. And I said, well, I'm your guy. And, and that's really how I fell into the, the business, to be honest, just being open and being able to you know, look for opportunities and, and, and kind of change my direction a little bit. So I was able to go from house flip into single family homes, ideal, you know, at one point selling to owner occupants to ultimately where I'm at now today, where I only sell to investors. How come you don't have a Texan ask accent? <laughs> I don't know. You know I'm, I'm born and raised in Texas. I'm, I'm actually, I, I was born in West Texas and grew up on a ranch and, uh, I don't know. I don't have a Texas accent. It's kind of funny. And Rich doesn't have a Boston accent either. He's from Boston. No. I always he worked really hard. He would watch the news so that he could um, train his mouth because he didn't really? he didn't like having a Boston accent. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute, you're from there and you don't sound like it. Yeah, I don't have that twang. <laughs> I guess you know. <laughs> That's funny. Um, well, I would think you know it's a, it's a hard transition to go from flipping to well, not hard, but it's different to flipping yeah. versus building. Um, I, I think people make a mistake thinking they're the same. There's, there's more to it. I mean, you've, you've got to make sure you're buying the land at the right pl price. You've right. got to make sure that you're not overbuilding. Um, mm -hmm. there's more risk, right? Because yes, you can flip pretty, I mean, what, three months you can be done with the flip. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's a lot longer term what we do, especially when we're buying land and doing development and, you know, it's, it could be a two, three, sometimes even a four year project, depending on the size of the project. So, there's a lot goes into it up front. Um, my older son is my kind of my land guy. He finds up our land positions and does a fantastic job. So kind of my whole company is really my family. Um, so it's, it's my, both my sons are in the business. Um, my daughter-in-law is our sales manager. So anyone who ever reaches out to us to, to buy, will be dealing with Lexi and she's fantastic. And then my wife actually owns the property management company. And uh, my daughter is at Texas A&M University right now studying construction science. So she's going to get in the business once she graduates. And so it's definitely a big family family company, which we love and are very proud of. Um, and, and really, you know, with the help of my sons and everyone, my daughter-in-law and wife and has helped grow the company. And so it's been, it's been great. Oh, I love that. Yeah, we got to meet a lot of them at the live event. And you'll get to meet them if you go on the tour. Mm -hmm. So again, just go to realwealth.com, join, it's free, then you'll get access to all that information. And of course, um, in the drop dropdown, you, you'll find information under the invest tab and the connect tab with upcoming events. So I won't be able to attend that one because it will be my anniversary on the 19th. Oh, wow. I'll be doing something else that day. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's 27 years. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. Wow. I know we're getting closer to 30 years. I got to think of something <laughs> awesome to do on the 30 year. But anyway, yeah. we'll do something fun on, on the 27 year or two. So, well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for all you do to our for our members. Uh, we just have rave reviews. And I'm looking forward to buying uh, something from you soon, too, especially no, great. at the 4.2% rate. The one great thing about owning real estate is it's really a way to build that generational wealth for, for their families. And, you know, if they're, if they haven't started investing, you know, now's the time because, it, you know, you're only, you're only getting older if you're not, if you're not buying now and, and you're, you're losing time. So time's a great friend for you when you're trying to build that wealth. Yeah, absolutely. Are you seeing anyone doing like short-term or medium-term rentals uh, furnished? Is that, is there demand for that? The markets we're in, um, not really short term. Uh, you know, we've seen some stuff like maybe some corporate housing, a little more midterm um, is there's some opportunity there with the, the health industry that we have in San Antonio and, and even the military, you know, with bringing in some people sometimes shorter term. So I think that's an opportunity. Yeah, great. All right. Well, thank you again for joining me here on The Real Wealth Show and for all you do for our Real Wealth members. No, thank you so much for having us, Kathy. And we, we love working with Real Wealth and look forward to a long relationship with y'all. Likewise. All right. Thank we'll see so you much. soon. Thank Next you. tour.
<laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you. And thank you for joining me here on The Real Well Show. Again, as you know, just go to realwellshow.com to get more information. When you join, you can click on the Invest tab and you will see the drop down of all the different markets that we promote, where we have referral teams, uh, teams that have come highly recommended by our members. Now, we do the initial vetting of different teams, background checks, check out the property and so forth. But the real vetting comes from our members because when you have thousands of members also looking at those projects, going on property tours, buying, giving us their feedback, that's the information that keeps us really informed as to how things are going. Our investment counselors at Real Wealth uh, speak with our 70,000 members, not all of them at once, but um, on a regular basis, we have great communication. Uh, we ask always that people reach out to us and tell us how things are going so that we can stay on top of it and share that information with you. Uh, so again, just go to realwealth.com. If you're looking to build your portfolio or learn how to get started, uh, that's how you do it. We've got hundreds of free webinars access to our investment counselors who also invest with our teams and can tell you how it's going for them and the feedback that they get uh, from our members. So again, realwealth.com, free to join. Look forward to seeing you on one of our upcoming tours or events. I'm Kathy Fedke. Thanks for joining me here on The Real Wealth Show. The views and opinions expressed in this podcast are provided for informational purposes only and should not be construed as an offer to buy or sell any securities or to make or consider any investment or course of action. For more information, go to realwealthshow.com.